Welcome back to KSNT News at 5. Today, in one in about 12 men and about in one 200 women have some form of color vision deficiency worldwide. There is no cure for this. Tonight, KSNT News morning anchor Brittany Moore introduces us to a colorblind woman in Topeka who's using special glasses to see colors correctly. Many of us take color for granted. We see the world as we know it, not thinking twice about what color things are. But for Sky Gale of Topeka, that's a luxury she's never really had. I have what's called red green color blindness, and so I get colors kind of confused, is the best way to describe it. Like red looks like green, red looks like brown, blue looks like purple. So I can see colors, but my brain doesn't differentiate what colors they are. Color blindness can be genetic, starting at birth, or like Sky, can be a result of an injury. Sky was severely injured when she was five years old playing on a swing set. Now at 29 years old, she's finally seeing colors correctly. All thanks to her in chroma glasses. The biggest way that they help me is when I'm driving. Before I got them, I couldn't, the green lights looked white. And now they are blatantly green. I mean, there's no denying that's a green light. In a marketing video, Enchroma's CEO and co founder explains how they work. Enchroma's glasses contain a special proprietary material that absorbs specific wavelengths of light. Filtering compensates for the overlap between the red and green photopigments in the eye of the colorblind person. Sky got her glasses as a Christmas present. She says they've truly changed her life. Immediately wanted to take them outside, try them on, and see. And the one thing I can say is that even in Kansas in the dead of winter, it was beautiful. Like it was just beautiful to me. I've never seen color like that in my life. And Chroma says this is not a cure for color blindness, but says four out of five red green color blind people can benefit from these glasses. The company is also working on creating contact lenses as well. Brittany Moore, KSNT News.